Okay folks, these briquettes, uh, it's a bit deceiving because as they burn, they, they get a white ash on the outside and they burn up the inside. So um, this one's been, um, oh, it's almost an hour. Gee, that's all right. As I said, they do take a fair amount of heat to, to ignite, but once you get them ignited, uh, this is one of the um, square briquettes. And just to prove a point, I'll scrape some of the ash off and I'll blow on it and you'll see it glow. And I just stick a light match on there. There we go. There's enough heat in that. Okay, so that, that briquette's going to burn for quite a while. Uh, very slow burning. Now, bear in mind, this is only one single briquette, so... Uh, when you're using these, you need to use uh, quite a lot of them at the same time to keep the, the heat concentrated. Uh, much as you would, you know, just throwing normal charcoal on a fire or something like that. It takes a lot to get it initiated and glowing. Uh, but once it's done that, um, uh, you're away. You know, it's, it's like uh, this piece of charcoal. Right. By itself, it's uh, very hard to light and very hard to sustain its own heat. But you get a pile of it together and get it alight and it'll burn for a long time. Alright, back later. Okay folks, it's about uh, an hour and 20 minutes. And uh, I've just picked up to have a look at what going, what's going on around the back of it. I'll have to blow on it uh, so it will come up in the camera. Uh, see you in a sec. Now, there's actually a lot more heat inside that, but you've got ash and some um, charcoal on the outside of it. That was the original size of it, so it, it's burnt um, around about 50% up to this line here. Okay, so we'll try the match trick again. Go. you can see the heat there, there's still a lot of heat in it, enough to not ignite a match. So, um, run a bit short of time, so you're looking at this particular type of charcoal brick, um, around about a two hour burn time, somewhere thereabouts, give or take. So, um, I'll just put that back up there. Still blowing. So, that's that, that's that one there. These bigger ones uh, are going to be a bigger problem um, to light on their own and it's like firewood. Uh, you can put the, the bigger piece like this on top of a bunch of smaller pieces. Uh, once you get these going, put this on top. So uh, it's self-sustaining and heat. Much much like lighting a fire, you start off with tinder and kindling and then put, put your, your block pyramid type thing and put your um, heavier stuff on top. So, um, just about run out of time on this one. So, uh, as I said, for these ones, around about an hour's burn. And for these ones, I think it went up uh, about 40 minute burn, somewhere thereabouts. I'll have to check it out, it'll be on the video anyway. So, um, Next one I'll try is, I'll try a bunch of them inside. I don't know if you can see it there in the dark. As these burn, they drop the ash too, and uh, some burning charcoal. So uh, the next one I'll do is I'll do a burn inside here with uh, quite a few of them. and. Um, see how we go with that. Now, as I said, we need quite a lot of heat. You can use wood, wood chips, that sort of thing. Um, use whatever you like. Liquid fuels if you want to go that way. I'm trying to do this a more primitive way. And um, my thing is to remember that they do need quite a lot of heat uh, to ignite, much like normal charcoal. Uh, 
on a fire, but uh, these burn for much, much longer than uh, normal raw chunky charcoal. All right, back later, folks. Okay, folks. I've just put all the uh, a lot of briquettes inside the uh, wire mesh cage, and this is more what they did, they're designed for, uh, rather than burning them singly. And as you can see there, it's caught quite well. Um, that's the time we've started, so we'll see how long this goes for. What I did was well, put this smaller uh, charcoal briquettes in the bottom, much like you do with a fire, and uh, you see the big one sitting on top. Now what I've also done too is put some of this charcoal in there too, and that's that's another project that um, I'll video later on. It's not uh, raw charcoal, I've done something to it, and um, that's what's under that uh, wire mesh at the moment, so that's additional heat, it helps the burn, much sustainable burn, longer burn time, and more heat. Now initially I started this um, with a, um, a fire lighter, um, as I said before you can start them anywhere you want, the, the main thing is you've got to have a lot of heat to start these. Um, so uh, you know, it's up to you whether you use liquid uh, fuels or uh, a good pile of wood chips or kindling, uh, that'll do it. Or, or some other modern or synthetic type of uh, fire lighter. Um, the main part of this video is, yes, uh, to determine uh, how well these burn. And this is more what they're suited for. There's quite a lot of heat coming out of that glass at the moment. And um, of course, the, the realization that you do need a lot of heat to ignite these. Okay, back later. Okay, we're 15 minutes into the burn, and as you can see, it's very well alight um, all the way through. And um, as I said before, this is what they're, they're more suited for. Uh, if you're using it, uh, you can use them in cans as long as they've got plenty of ventilation. This, these do need a lot of ventilation air. Uh, to burn properly and uh, you, you may not notice it, I don't know. Um, you can see that it, it's starting to burn down and as it burns down you just put more on top. Now the heat coming off this at the moment, the glass on the fire door is too hot to touch and the same with the top of the, uh, the wood heater, it's too hot to put your hand on. So uh, you can see the uh, the heat that uh, that's, that, that's uh, being produced in there from all those uh, charcoal briquettes and uh, balls and bricks and stuff and uh, it's like any fire once it starts to burn down you just put more on top so um, and uh, I haven't used one piece of wood not a skerrick of wood to uh, to keep this going or keep it keep uh, feeding it so uh, that's good so back yeah. soon okay folks about an hour into, into the burn on this initially, as you can see it's burnt down quite well. Still a lot of heat in there, enough to boil water or cook a meal. Um, the glass on the fire door is still too hot to touch, same on the top of the, the wood uh, heater. Uh, when it's burned down, they burn down into a white ash, so I don't know if you can see it in the video there, but you can see where some of them are, are burning. Uh, that's white ash on the outside, so that's charcoal burning down to complete ash. So, um, also keep in mind this is a very small test bed. Uh, I've used this uh, about the size of a diameter of probably a coffee can and about half the height. So, what I'll do now is um, I'll top this up with some more briquettes and little balls and stuff. The initial ones I used in this were the ones that um, I mix the pig fat into and they are uh, much easier to, to get going than the, um, the standard uh, starch and water um, binding agent. So, let's see if I can lift this out. This is still a big briquette on top. Remember I said put the big stuff on top. Once you get the little stuff going, it's just like a normal wood fire. Big briquette is pretty much light. 
bloody hot. Just lift them out for a sec. Okay. Just spread these around a bit. Now I'll put the normal uh, starch water mix ones in here on top and uh, there should be enough heat to, to get them going. Again, make sure that you've got plenty of air. Third world countries they use uh, small drums or metal cans and that sort of thing. So uh, just top it up and uh, I'll be back in half an hour for the final shoot. But, uh, I'm very pleased with that. That's what they're designed for to be used in a cluster, not burned as individuals. And um, it's one of the reasons why I had trouble getting a burn time on each briquette because um, as you can see from there they need um, self-sustaining heat from the, the whole pile and as I said much, much the same way as normal charcoal works. So I'm quite pleased with that. Uh, for a much larger wood heater um, you're going to need a lot more uh, to make particularly in the cold winters with snow and stuff. But I have a solution for that too, which will come in a later video. All right, back in half an hour. Thanks, folks. All right, folks. Well, it wasn't half an hour. Sorry, I got delayed. I'm now two hours. And uh, that's what it looks like when it's burnt down. And what I decided to do also was to try and boil some water on it. And that water's just coming up to a very high simmer, approaching boiling point. I'm running out of time again. So, um, I don't know if you can see it there in the video. The water's bloody hot, so I get my hand. So, um, you can boil water on this, cook food on it, that sort of thing. It's gone off the boil because it's taken off, but it's a very high simmer, uh, almost to a boiling point. So. That's it. So, uh, yeah, they work well. I recommend if you're going to try this, mix animal fat in with your uh, starch and water. They burn a lot better. And uh, it's another alternative heating method. So, uh, might be something to think about when uh, you've got a shortage of uh, dry tinder or dry wood or or the supplement, whatever other heating met method you've got. So uh, that's about it, folks. It's still burning down pretty well. I'm not going to put any more in this, let it burn down because we run out of time. So uh, thanks very much for, for watching.